Hi, man. We got food theory is expensive. Water actually worth it. Let's see what's going on. Water in this bottle is four. What's your favorite water to drink? Let me know. 14 times more expensive than the water in this bottle. 14 times. And yet it's supposedly selling the exact same thing, water. And 14 times more expensive, you'd be hoping for like gold leaf to be floating around <laughs> inside of here or something. But nope, nothing. Fuck. Just plain old water. Clearly, this has got to be some sort of a gimmick, right? Well, that's what I plan to test today. Is Let's the clear, it, bro, water. flavorless, and odorless liquid we call water the same no matter whether it's coming from a... This is a good freaking experiment, bro, because people obviously, they'll get their little um avions and 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 smart waters and fiji thinking they're drinking some healthy but then you go on tiktok and people are debunking all those um <clears throat> high quality expensive waters bro square Saying bottle that it's really or not a good for you one and when you spend more on a bottle of water does that rich water actually taste expensive drink it all in theorists by the end of today's episode your thirst for answers shall be quenched <laughs> Hello, Internet! Welcome to Food Theory, the channel that's always sparkling and never still. We've talked a lot on this channel about various beverages. Sodas, tea, coffee. Heck, we even tried olive oil mixed into coffee. Still hate you, Starbucks, for forcing us to do that one. But there's one drink that we've critically ignored over one. the years of Food Theory, and that is water. Outside of the one episode where we tested whether you could predict the temperature of water just from listening to it pour, spoiler alert, you can, water's been a pretty infrequent subject on the channel and really? it's not hard to see why right it's it's water there's nothing much to say about it clear odorless making up 70 percent of the surface of planet earth h2o is kind of the g-o-a-t of planet earth beverages but it's not facts. particularly f facts bro that's all i drink bro you rarely catch me drinking some juice or some soda bro Flashy. And yet, over the last two decades, bottled water Ever has done. really exploded onto the scene to capitalize off of our collective thirst. In 2020 alone, the U.S. bottled water industry generated approximately $22 billion in revenue. Billion with a B just Boy. for water. When I was a kid, you drank from the tap. About to make my own water brand, no cap. Tap and you liked it. If you were lucky, you got to drink from the garden hose. But now, water's become so ubiquitous, it's starting to feel like a fashion accessory. God, look at this ugly ass. Look at that one right there. The Sony? The worst one. It is a matter of taste <laughs> and of class. There are even trendy waters out there. You want a nice, crisp, balanced flavor, so no Dasani. I mean, just wrap your head around that. Trendy water. And of course, that also is going to come with a huge range of prices. A typical bottle of water today can cost anywhere between 50 cents and $5. So, yeah. I just gotta know, is it worth it? If 50 cents. What cost 50 cents, bro? I've never seen 50 cent water. If you actually drank all the different brands of bottled water blind, could you legitimately tell which one came from a natural spring out in the French Alps and which was bottled by the spigot out back of Coke HQ? Can your palate actually distinguish between different brands of water? And if so, does the more expensive water actually taste any better? Today, we're making Stay Hydrated Bot proud by tasting six of the major mainstream water options out there back to back to back to back to determine once and for Let's all see. who is the baron of the bottle the sultan of the still the leader of the liquid tldw we did a scientific experiment to determine what the best bottled waters are and i'm gonna tell you right now the differences were moist and critical so to do this the team obviously had to put together a taste test for steph and i to do a taste test <clears throat> of water which in concept is bro, bro taste test water that sounds stupid like it i don't know me it just it all tastes the same the way it goes down is the difference, I feel like. Like the smoothness of it, you know what I'm saying? It's just really stupid. This is pretty insane. Now that we're sitting here on the couch doing water. it, it's pretty stupid. <laughs> That's what we aim to figure out here today, folks. We're gonna take I hope, bro, I, six of the most- Okay, I hope they get into like, what's actually the healthiest, you feel me? Um, Aquafina and Poland Springs is what I usually get. Dasani, stay away from that shit. Avion probably had that like twice. Smart Water had it a, a good time. Good Smart Water and Fiji had a good amount of times. Voss, I probably had like three times. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. 
most common brands of bottled water, ranging from expensive, top-of-the-line artisanal brands to your cheap, everyday options that you'd find in most vending machines. And then Steph and I are going to conduct a blind taste test to see if these fancy brands pardon the pun, hold any water. It's also worth noting that we did this experiment using room temperature water. Not because we forgot to make room in our fridge, but because that'll help make sure that we're truly able to taste all the subtle differences in the water. Bro, I heard drinking room temp water is the best or safest way, bro. That's ass. I like my shit cold. Water. Believe it or not, but temperature actually matters a lot when you're talking about it the does. flavor of stuff like water. Cold water actually suppresses your taste buds. And for this experiment, we didn't want to hinder our ability to taste the minerals and slight differences of flavor. With that said, do Steph and I have the most refined aquatic palates, or are taste buds all washed up? Let's dive in. Hey, right. bro. That's Matthew <clears throat> picking his teeth. That is me picking my teeth. <laughs> so I'm, I'll swish it around later when I'm enveloping myself in the bouquet of these various waters. So Santi, take us through the experiment. Yeah, what are we doing? I well, really wish I hadn't heard that, first of all. Second of all, in this first round, you have six different brands of water in the cups in front of you. Yes. You don't know the brand. What you'll be doing is drinking from each cup, figuring out if you can taste any differences and if you even have a favorite out of these, and then you'll be ordering them from right to left from cheapest to most expensivest. Then at the end of the round, we'll tell you how close you got. And there will be another round after this, which will explain when we get there. So we're tasting the richness of the water. <laughs> Sure. The thing is, there there are no wrong answers here, Stephanie. This uh, is a water taste test. They get, all right. Yeah. If you just try different uh, waters, you'll know what I'm talking about when I talk about like the smoothness of it, the way it goes down and shit. You are responding so there's a to difference. what your palate <clears throat> is telling you. Yeah, but I'm just going to put them in any old order because I don't think I'll be able to know. There's no competition here. This is a welcoming space. <sighs> All right, let's do it. Santi, how are you going to respond to everyone's comments on this experimental design when everyone's like, they're in different colors, and so the colors are going to affect the way you perceive the flavor? So, they are wrong. <laughs> That's I'll water. That. Down the hatch, Hey, everyone. oh, cheers. I don't know, it tastes like water. It's all it's fucking <laughs> water. It's okay. smelling water. I don't know if this is true or not. This is the flavor that I don't like about Aquafina, or like this is the sort of thing that I don't like about Aquafina. So green as well. It's really cucumber -y on the front. Don't think I care for that one as much, but like I still don't care strongly. Yeah. I don't know. Blue, the, the color of water. Still no smell, but I'm going to continue to do this the whole time. <laughs> it's mellow all throughout. It's mellow, right? That, that, no, it's somehow that's a descriptor. Mm -hmm. Right? It's smooth. Yeah. Purple. This one has a pretty, like, sharp, bitter flavor up front. Actually. That's probably Dasani. Like plastic for water. I don't know. Dasani? Is it possible that I'm going to make myself sick by drinking all this water? My stomach is like, why are you so hydrated right now? That's not normal. Okay, orange. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, actually, this is really bad. It's very funny. I don't like it. Yeah, this is really bad. Okay, here we go. I feel like I need to clean my palate every time, but it's all water. Oh, no, this will clean your palate. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah, this there's is, nothing this in this. Nice. this is I nice think water. there's nothing in this. I taste wet. I remember when Peaky Water Eddie <laughs> first hit the market, or I first came <laughs> what? in high school. There was a kid in my choir who would only drink Fiji water because it was the purest of the waters, and he insisted on it. He insisted on it so completely that it was this pure, unadulterated water that he would open the bottle. And because he's rich, because Fiji water is like $4 a bottle, boy. I'm going to stick with my Pony Springs, $2.50, one seven and 9 yeah. And then pour it into his He would not let okay. his lips touch the bottle, he would pour it into his mouth. So that way he would not taint the purity of this water. On the left, the cheapest water. You... It's in the bottle though. The water's touching the bottle. Isn't it tainted already? Both got correct with Aquafina. <laughs> the next one you both also got correct and that is Dasani in the orange. Huh. You started off strong, but the third one is actually the red with the star. Wait. And the brand is Evian. Really? That's good. Oh yep. no, we have bougie taste. The next one up is purple, oh. and Smart Water is the brand in there. We did. So Stephanie, you actually got that <laughs> correct. Oh yeah! Wait, no, I thought blue was Smart Water. I want to, I want to take this victory, but you were half right because you did put it fourth in your lineup. Okay. And then the final two, we have Fiji in the blue and boss in the green good job with fiji you I called, called that fiji. one I, I biffed it on uh, aquafina hard so voss on average comes in at about 16.99 for a six pack oh wow for water for a six pack
a six pack. Polar Springs got 24s for like 11 12 dollars. Hey, yo, hey, don't get fooled. It says a cent you here. Yeah, no, there's Polish Springs in this bottle. No cap <clears throat> or Aquafina. BG actually comes in at $15.99, Smart Water at $12.99, Evian at about $12 flat, $11.99, and Dasani at $3.79 for a six pack, and Aquafina for $3.29. So both of the bottom range are in the $3. Wow. Huh. This is making me rethink a lot of stuff. I'm also mending my relationship with Aquafina. It no. seems like it. There's, you guys have come to terms with each other. There's, there's. Stop, stop flexing, bro. Why are they flexing low key, bro? <laughs> They're like, hey, Aquafina, you're trash. I'm gonna go get me some vibes because I can. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I hope they talk about like the minerals and what's actually healthier for you. Healing that's Because again, people say Fiji's good, but then you go on TikTok and be like, no, Fiji's actually bad because it has this ingredient. Go get Vaz. But wait, Vaz is bad too. You got to get this one. Happening here in this moment. Three things quickly <laughs> became clear from that first Let's round of tasting. One, that different bottled waters clearly have different flavors that you can taste. Two, that you can taste a bit of the price difference between those waters. That's how <laughs> Steph and I were Facts. able to roughly predict the prices that were on the high. I guess that's the taste right there. The price. <laughs> you could taste the price. Higher range of things versus <laughs> the lower range. And finally, three, Steph and I clearly had some favorites that immediately stood out from the pack. Ooh, that is nice. On the other side of the spectrum, Dasani. I don't know if this is the least expensive, but it is by far the worst tasting. But why did we have such a polarizing take across these two specifically? Well, Evian's water is what's known as natural spring water, which, while it certainly sounds like some corporate gobbledygook, it actually has itself an official definition. The makers, or should I say bottlers, of Evian are in the business of keeping the water in as natural a state as possible. So, when it snows on the mountaintops above the French town of Evian Le Bon, it starts to melt and seep down into the ground, flowing downwards towards the base. That looks so beautiful, bro. Evian Le Bon, it starts Look at these camera to melt shots. and seep down into the ground. That's tough. Flowing downwards towards the base of the slopes. As it flows, it picks up all sorts of natural minerals and electrolytes, like calcium, magnesium, and bicarbonates. These mineralized waters eventually flow into a stream outside the town where they're more or less bottled at the source, and then shipped Damn. to hotel refrigerators the world over. So really, there is some substance for why this That's water crazy. is so much better than some of the other contenders. They didn't just call it Evian because <laughs> it was naive spelled backwards. Millennial me actually blames the movie Reality Bites for popularizing Whoa. that theory. That food theory. Yo, you know what's crazy about that? Like the the backwards, when like brands do that, they switch. They have a word and switch it around. That's their brand, and it's like people don't really think to switch the word around. You feel me? I don't know. Just like, like they do that, and then it clicks. It's it, it's it's it does well. It's popularized. It's well known. You feel me? I find that so dope. Evian is naive spelled backwards. In reality, Evian is just named after the town where the water comes from. Yeah. Dasani, meanwhile, is a little bit less. In that, in that, in that sad, in that, in it, in it sad, in it sad that Dasani's ass. <laughs> Elegant, shall we say. Hey, Dasani, yo. which is owned by Coca-Cola, buys up any sort of lake or stream out. And it's sad. Oh my god. Darren is like, yeah, it's mostly clean. Of course, those waters are not mostly clean, especially when compared to the pure Fuck spring that. water of Evian. If they tried to just bottle that water, it would end up tasting worse than Coke Starlight. Tastes like dirt. Jeez. So instead, they need to go in and do several <laughs> rounds of filtering. This isn't the natural sort of filtering that's happening in the French Alps, though. They use their industrial might to filter everything out of the water. And I do mean everything everything. What they're left with is basically pure water. Now that sounds like it should make it even more of a pure flavor than Evian, but that's not actually a good thing. It turns out the purer the water, the more bland the flavor. It might be good enough for Aquafina, but not for the likes of Daddy Coke. Coke is in the business of making things taste good, so they add a bunch of minerals in artificially so it tastes like what people expect water to taste like. But to Steph and I in this blind comparison, all the extra effort they put in to make the water taste better just made it taste more like backwash. Turns out the process of 
removing all the sweet, sweet minerals and then artificially trying to ram them back in just doesn't sit well with the two of us. But at this point, Steph and I were feeling pretty darn confident we could sniff out, or rather taste out, the best from the rest, which led us into round two and our team's not-so-fun prank. All right, Santi, hit us up. What do you got in store for us for round two? You already know the brands. You know the general price range. What you're going to do now, you're going to go through, taste every single cup again, and see if you can guess the order of a price. So basically redo what we just did, but having the Focus knowledge of what everything is. So I think my strategy here is knock out the ones that I feel like I should be able to identify. Exactly. Right? It's making me second guess everything. I'm getting my eyes closed. <laughs> I have to go slower. Hold I know, on. right? We're rushing Hold through on. it now. Yeah, okay. All of a sudden, we're okay. like, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> we're like, I'm gonna get it right now. Let's be methodical. Start here. Yes. I don't really taste anything with this one. So it's either Fiji or Evian. All right, what's next? Green? Green. How are you not swallowing so much air? I know how to consume beverages. <gasps> I'm the sewer, Stephanie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live within me. <laughs> what is going on? I don't taste, I don't anything, taste anything here either. Santi's pulling a mind game on us. Are these all the same? <laughs> these are not different waters. They have to be. The previous experiment, there was distinctive differences. This one does not have that. And also different textures. So are these just di no, uh, no, no cups? Oh, this is where I'm gonna cut in and say, this was in fact a placebo route. These are <sighs> all the same water. I like that I'm still drinking them just to prove the point. <laughs> I didn't the say same. final answer. <laughs> For the reveal, every single one of these was... Deer Park! Deer Park! A new Deer Park. contender enters the field. Was this in the last round? It no, was, was not. not. That's why I couldn't place any of them. Right? You shysters. Santi thought he was gonna be slick. He was gonna play some mind games, <laughs> trick us into drinking the same water six times. But it's gonna take a lot more than party tricks to pull a prank on the Patricks. But what that showed us was that the flavor differences weren't just happening in our mind. We were actively tasting them on our tongue. So with that little control test out of the way, it was time to move on to our final round. Round number three. I'm assuming based on the fact that you have exposed the brands to us and that we're presented with another round of six cups, we're going to match. Are, are we playing a game of matchy match here? So what you're going to do is now knowing how each brand kind of tastes, see if that factors into your decision making here. So you'll be tasting every one and try to Rearrange order them, them in yep. the correct order. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I think this is still Aquafina. You think so? I know you're going off of the bubbles. Which no, I'm going off of the aftertaste too. Like, are you? Feel it in your mouth. metallic -y. Minerally. I'm not 100% sold on, but we'll, we'll see. Yes, I now. won't lock you in at the moment. Oh, it's fine. okay. You don't have to commit. Star. Star. Fiji. Oh. Yeah. It's so smooth. It's sweet, too. Mm-hmm. It's like thick water. Yeah. Thick water. Like double C thick. Yep. So smooth. So buttery. It's really good. It's really nice. It's really nice. Purple? Nope. Oh. <laughs> it's not. Really? I'm, I'm not getting a whole lot of flavor in it. I'm getting a lot of flavor on my tongue. Man, should I have not taken a bite of that sandwich in between takes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tentatively assign this to smart water, but I'm not sure yet. Shoot, and meanwhile, I think it's Evian, but also yeah, I need to get rid of the flavor on my tongue apparently now. Oh, sorry. Oh, Here, drink some water. Oh, oh, but there's a flavor on the front. I think that might have been the Dasani with the like front end. But it's clean on the back end. Sorry, I'm desperately trying to clean my tongue off. You know what I mean? <laughs> or is that the one I hated? Which I think... She's invested. Are we experiencing some taste bud fatigue here? I do wonder that. Is there a world where we are experiencing taste bud fatigue? Because there is a world where you just oh. have, like, so much. No. I don't know they've been drinking There's a taste on this different kinds. Kind. They probably do. Yes. And it's a front taste, not a back taste. Right, exactly. Which means... The back finish is smooth. I'm pretty locked on these three, right? So Aquafina, the bubbly one with the backhand flavor, with, like, the, the aftertaste, done. Evian, I think, is, is clearly here in the middle. I think it's the blue one. We're very clear on Fiji. I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. I'm so confused now. And we have agree. very similar opinions yeah. about all these waters, so it makes sense that I think our, our opinions would line up here as well. This feels like a lot of pressure for something that is so inconsequential. Aquafina, you're both correct. <laughs> Woo! Following with Dasani, which was in the green cup. Yeah! <laughs> Evian up next, the blue cup. Yes. Ooh, come on! Smart water, orange cup. Yes! Yes! Damn, I got it. It was in the purple cup. Damn. Are you kidding me? No, no way. Wow. Are you kidding me? Yep. Fiji was in the purple and Boss was in the red star. Left we were talking there. and we didn't bother Jeez. to double check it. Oh, and we even oh. said it too. We said it was hey. sweet and. Hey, bro, what's that? It's, it's four, four for six? Fiji has no flavor Simple. at all. 
I need to think back to Steve. Steve from high school, who didn't want to taint the non-flavor with his lips. <laughs> oh, what fools we've been. Hubris. Oh, we were Icarus and we flew too close to the sun. What was Santi saying about water poisoning? That you'll probably be fine. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. That's too much water, bro. <laughs> not medical, hashtag not medical advice. I'm proud of you for opening your mind and your palate to the wide, diverse flavors of water. Thanks. It's been a journey for me. I feel like I've come a long way. I developed an opinion in an area where I was very happy to not have one before, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But I am much better educated to pick between, you know, between water when I need to buy bottled water. I'm very excited about it. Right? This is great. Yeah. So next time anyone says to you like, oh, bottled water will taste the same. Certainly not. No, they not even close. Bro. Not even close. They not don't. even for a second. What's your favorite? It's a difference for real, bro. Across the board now. The Fiji water and, and I guess I guess the boss are also uh, also favorite. Yeah. I think, I think for me, Evian and Fiji, down. If you're going for like whatever, a mid-tier, which is still a pretty expensive water, but yeah. mid-tier in this test, Evian, I think, would be the, the most economical, but still really good flavor solution. Right. Oh, Steve, why didn't I listen to you? And why do I suddenly care so much about water? Anyway, from our experiments, we definitively concluded that yes, you can, in fact, taste the designer waters from the duds, which honestly, it was a pretty surprise water. to both of us. I was getting my, oh, it's all just water takes locked and loaded, but I guess the joke's on me. Why though? If the difference in flavor doesn't just come down to marketing hype, then what's going on here? Well, after I came back from the experiment, and I started digging deep underground. I wanted to see what makes expensive water taste so special, and then I realized it's actually the ground. As I mentioned earlier, more expensive brands like Evian take supposedly pure sources of water, like those on freshly fallen snow caps, and then lets them flow along and through the ground until they're packaged up for people like us to buy. The Crazy. other luxury brands? Yeah, they pretty much do the exact same thing. Well, Evian comes from the French Alps, Voss comes from an isolated stream in the south of Norway, and Fiji, well, it comes from Fiji. Pretty self-explanatory. And actually, it's probably the coolest water that we looked into, Fiji water, instead of flowing through a silly little mountain, actually is naturally filtered through a freaking volcano. Yeah, they should just what? put a giant volcano on the bottle and embrace how- Filtered through a volcano? Oh, awesome that is. Jokes aside though, wow. it's the volcanic rock that actually makes the water have, quote, twice the amount of electrolytes as other waters, and it also gives it that smooth flavor. But then, how do rocks what? add flavor and smoothness? Well, imagine the volcanic rock is kind of like a sponge, a very hard sponge that was once liquid hot magma. Liquid hot magma. <laughs> and has since cooled down into porous rock. The pores yeah. of the stone increase the surface area where a biofilm can develop. Essentially, a biofilm is an accumulation of microbes or microorganisms that act as a bouncer for the water flowing through, keeping all the gross sediment and bacteria. Oh, okay. That shit sounds disgusting. I ain't gonna lie. But it's, out, do it's doing a good thing. While letting the good minerals right into the VIP section. Then the water mm. just sits there in an untouched chamber of volcanic rock, a chamber that limits any That's other contaminants crazy. and retains the important stuff for that pure mouthfeel. Honestly, when you think about it and hear it put this way, it kind of makes sense why it's so expensive, which is a thing I thought I would never say about bottled water, but here ah, it kind of makes sense. As bro. Aquafina is expensive nowadays, bro. Freaking inflation. It's for all the cheaper brands, since they don't have access to, you know, That's a crazy. volcano or a mountain, these pure, unadulterated sources of water, they just grab fresh water from wherever they're located. They then have to filter out all the nasty bits, and if they're like Smart Water and Dasani, both Coke brands, incidentally, they re-add some of those tasty minerals back into the water to give it a consistent flavor. Consistent, yes. Tasty, eh. Not 100% sure about that anymore. All in all, the cheaper brands are so affordable because they're not just taking water from one super rare, important, pure source and shipping it around the world for us to enjoy. Since they filter the water to oblivion, it doesn't really matter where they get the water from. So anywhere you can get access to a stream can be new ground zero for a water brand. Which is why I tend to think that we see so many water bottle brands that are region specific, like our Deer Park here in the Southeast or the Northeast's Poland Spring. All you need is a source of water, a way to filter it, and a dream. So what does this all mean for you and me. If expensive water is really better tasting, does that mean that I'm gonna suddenly smash my piggy bank to get the best culinary experience for my Fuck water? No. Either way, the answer is no, probably not. These premier waters do taste better, but that comes with such a hefty price tag. I am perfectly fine with fresh water out of the tap or, you know, mildly filtered chilled water out of the refrigerator. Would I Tell recommend me. that you go out and buy a supermarket sized package of Fiji Fuck. water for your fridge or start putting Voss in water coolers for your Little League games? No. <sighs> Hella money, boy. Unless they sell it already in this, which would probably be cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Doubt it, but like, 
Nah, well, that's too much, boy. Of course not. Remember, chilled water actually covers up a lot of sins across the board. But, you know, if you're at the airport and you're gonna need to buy a bottle of water for your long-haul flight... Don't buy shit at the airport. That Fiji at the gas station costs $4. Go to the airport. $10. What are you talking about? Cross the pond anyway and be uh, massively uh. overcharged in the process. It Facts. might make sense to splurge for that buttery mouthfeel of Fiji's volcano water. Your <laughs> taste buds will thank you. But hey, Fucking that's look, look at this. Yo. This is bougie. Just a theory. A food. The What's that, man? So thank you. But hey. Water's more important than food. Let me get the finest of the finest water. Hey, that's just a Fucking theory. Ramen, a food theory. Bottoms up. That's insane, bro. Wait. Or, you know, you could avoid all... Oh, air up. Ah. It's actually saying that there are places where you can just drink water without ever worrying, having to worry about it being contaminated with pro problematic bacteria. Like, that's actually quite cool. I, I swear, there's a... There's somewhere in DR I went swimming. I vlogged it. It was like, I don't know. It was like on the mountains, around the mountains, or whatever. The water was coming from the top of the mountain down, and it was like three, four different pools because the water would just flow down into these pools and then down this stream into the beach, right? But like where the pools were, like, bro, cold ass water felt nice, um, clean as fuck, bro. Like, you were. Damn near tempted a drink out of that, but like obviously not. Oh yeah, bro, it's just I don't know. Shit was nice. Food theory idea ask each member of food theory what food they would pick if they would could only eat one food for the rest of their lives and then calculate who would live longest. That's actually dope. That's actually dope. My pep is the only one the one and only person who can make a twenty two minute video about water. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually tasted fresh spring water right out source while camping and hiking up to the summit of these mountains in 2010 and let me tell you good quality water high quality water like that is tasteless it was absolute perfection and it was also extremely freezing cold it was so pure way up there since it was at the very start of the river coming out from inside the mountain that we didn't even need the filter to drink straight from the river that time just took a cup and dipped it in really facts it was painfully cold for our fingers though that's why i like fiji though Though I guess I should also try Evian now too then. Ah man. Insane. I grew up drinking natural well water. And everyone says I'm crazy when I say the most bottled water tastes bad. Evian has always been my favorite and one of the few I can stand and drink. So thank you for validating my preference and making me feel less crazy. Oh man. Yeah. Everybody's taste buds is different bro. I bust down any type of water. Nah, I'm not busting down though. Isn't it sad? Some fucking designy boy, fuck out of here. Let me know what your favorite water is. That's my reaction from the drug of this video. Like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.